channel I'm Lisa Belinda and on this channel I help conscious glow getters just like you navigate the beauty and wellness jungle today's video is going to be a clean at Sephora haul I purchased some products when black week started not a lot it's not going to be a huge haul it's actually a very small <laughs> haul <laughs> but I still wanted to do this I always try to not overspend during black week and just get the products that I really want to get regardless. So it's going to be a little mini haul. All of these products are new to me so it's going to be a first impression, a try on. I'm excited. I almost have a full face of makeup apart from mascara and well I do have a little bit of highlight but we are going to try a new mascara and some highlighter as well and a lip products because that will be in the haul so i wanted to have a clean slate for those products i have some products from elia some clean perfume from the seven virtues and a really exciting product from rms beauty that i have been drooling over for i think over a year and now i splurged so i'm so excited let's stop talking and just dive straight into this haul for a bag but I ordered it so this is what we got at least we got some some Sephora paper here let me start by quickly going through all the products that I'm going to show you guys today so first we have the lip wrap hydrating mask from Ilia we have the balmy tint hydrating lip balm also from Ilia and then another product from Ilia that I have been so curious about, the Fullest Volumizing Mascara. I got the mini version just to try it out. And then we have the Seven Virtues Rollerball Perfume and the Scent Sandal Vanille. Last but definitely not least, the RMS Beauty Living Glow Face and Body Powder. This looks so stunning. I cannot wait to try it. I'm also going to show you guys the Ilia Blue Light Filter Mist. I didn't get this with this order. I got it previously and I showed it to you in a video but I forgot to actually use it so I have used it a few times I'm just gonna tell you guys my opinion about it since I forgot that in the last video so let's start with the lip wrap hydrating mask this is one of those products that I've just seen online I've been so curious to try it and it's just taken me forever to buy it it always feels like I mean I guess it is more like a lip mask so it's like a little more than a lip balm but it still feels like a lot of money <laughs> for a lip balm I usually use these uh, no I don't have it here but I usually use these uh, little lip balm sticks from hurrah which are 40 Danish crowns that's about five dollars super cheap and really good so I'm almost like do I really want to spend more on like a lip balm but what really got me to buy it at the end was that my lips are super super dry now the winter is getting colder and pregnant <laughs> I also am not so good at drinking enough water because it makes me usually nauseous <laughs> so that's a bit of a struggle for me so my lips are so dry and the skin is like flaking on my lips and the thing about this lip mask is that of course it hydrates and uh, moisturizes but it also contains some enzymes so it also helps to exfoliate the lips and exfoliate away that cracked dry skin so that I thought was kind of a unique thing I'm really curious to try it let me read what it says on the box and then we'll try it on protect and revive a clean ultra hydrating treatment mask that wraps lips with powerful skin healing ingredients this concentrated cushiony texture hugs lips with active levels of moisture boosting salicornia sea succulent plumping hyaluronic acid and rich emollients that help create a natural barrier against environmental elements. Papaya enzyme help gently exfoliate, clearing the way for appearing actives that melt deeper into the skin. Lips are left fuller, softer, and bouncier. That sounds lovely, so let's try it. So it comes in this gorgeous glass container with a plastic lid, very minimalistic, very Ilia. I love it. It doesn't have a scent, maybe like a very, very, very subtle natural scent, but almost not at all. I actually had no idea if it had scent or not. I didn't look it up. <laughs> and I appreciate that it doesn't because since pregnancy, I'm very sensitive to scents, especially if it's on my lips. Feels, texture feels nice. Feels quite like 
oily. Mm. My lips are so dry and crusty right now. I did scrub my lips just with a towel before starting this video, but they are still so chapped. So hopefully this will help. Mm. It feels so nice. It really feels nice and cushiony. I like the way it looks. It's also like if you don't want to wear makeup or if you're not wearing a lot of makeup and you just want like a very natural lip, lip look, then this looks really nice. It also doesn't taste anything, doesn't smell like anything, very comfortable. First impression, really good. But of course I will have to wear it <laughs> a few times to see if it actually does something for my lips so I will update you guys in a future video to let you know how it worked I also have this balmy tint which is a tinted lip balm from what I've seen it has quite a lot of pigment so more like a light lipstick kind of vibe but I'm gonna apply this last because now that I just applied this on my lips I kind of want to let that just do its thing um, before applying more lip products. So let's wait with that one. Let's try the fullest volumizing mascara. This mascara, I've seen it all over social media. You guys know I love, 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 love the Elia Limitless Lash Mascara. Their first mascara makes the lashes separated, long, separated <laughs> everything i want in a mascara adore it the brush is amazing and so unique and the reason i didn't purchase the volume mascara right away when it launched was that i'm usually not a volume mascara kind of gal i don't like that full i mean i want full lashes but not like too much volume a lot of volume mascaras tends to kind of clump the lashes together to get that volume i just don't like the look of that because my lashes are a little bit messy like i need help to just define them but then when I've seen all the content on social media, all the videos of people actually using this, it looks gorgeous and it doesn't look like it clumps the lashes. So I want to try it. Now this is the mini, so they have a bigger size as well, but I actually love that they do sell it in a mini, min, mini. I do love that they sell it in a mini size, especially with mascara. It's so individual what you like and what you don't like. So I like that I can try it on without having to commit to the full size. Let's start by reading what it says about it on the box. A clean volumizing mascara that wraps each lash in weightless volume without clumping, flaking, or smudging. Love that. Natural waxes thicken and define while arginine and provitamin B5 help nourish and fortify for stronger, fuller lashes over time. Removes easily at the end of the day. I hope that's also true, but I love that it says that it's going to remove easily because I have this mascara from Eric Perez. This is that natural almond mascara. One of the most beautiful mascaras I have ever used. It's so stunning, but it's so difficult to remove. Like it's trauma on the lashes to remove it. I used oil several times. I had to use like a cotton pad, which I usually don't like to rub my lashes with but like I had to and I still didn't get it off my lashes were traumatized after this so never again so I love that it says that it's going to remove easily and also don't smudge I'm gonna start by bending my lashes so I'm gonna look a little crazy for a while all right lashes are bent I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit so you can really see what's going on all right whoa okay the brush is really big kind of like a volume mascara usually is so very different from the lengthening mascara let's try it okay I'm already impressed it just does not clump that was my biggest fear with this mascara but it doesn't clump that's so impressive okay can you see that it's just the lashes are so defined i got volume but i feel like it also gave me a length not just volume and the lashes are so separated there is no clumping at all i am so impressed the brush is of course quite big it's like a little bit more difficult to reach all the lashes in the corners whereas the lengthening mascara has a really unique brush where you can really reach all the lashes this one was a little bit harder to really you know get into those creases there it resulted in a little smudging on the eyelid apart from that i love it that's whoa i'm impressed let's do the other eye wow I mean, this mascara, wow. What's up, Ilya? Nobody does mascara like Ilya. That's amazing. amazing. Okay, I'm just gonna remove some of the mascara that smudged on my eyelid. 10 out of 10. I'm speechless. It is so good. I mean, you see for yourself. It's 
fantastic. Of course, I will have to see how it holds up throughout the day and if it really lives up to the claims that it's going to be smudge free, no flaking or smudging. So I will see throughout the day. In my next video, you will get an update on both the lip mask and the mascara, since those are products that you really need to try out for at least a day. Actually, now that we already are so up close and personal, let's do the balmy tint so that you can really see when I apply it on my lips. So the balmy tint hydrating lip balm. Let's read what it says about it. Sheer lightweight lip color meets ultra hydrating balm. Blend with nourishing shea butter, skin reviving rosehip seed oil, and active levels of moisture boosting salicornia. This lip quenching formula delivers a kiss of color that builds with each swipe. Okay, so it's buildable. I mean, that's that's nice because then you can kind of decide if you want just a sheer color or if you want more intense. So the packaging is like this aluminum kind of heavy packaging, very similar to their lipstick. Apart from that, this one is white. And I love the color block lipsticks, so I'm curious about this one. The shade that I got is called Hold Me. I believe it was their lightest shade. They have a lot, and I almost could not decide, but I went with this one. So it's like kind of like a peachy pink nude kind of shade. Let's just swatch it first. Hmm. Oh, that's really nice. I think that's just my vibe. All right, now, of course, I don't have the best canvas to try a lip product because my lips are cracked. They do feel more moisturized and soft after the lip mask, but I still, of course, have these crusty parts and like skin flaking off. Let's apply this. <laughs> I'm gonna start with one swipe just to see the sheerest version. Okay, it definitely brought out the crustiness. That's not to blame on the product, that's just my lips. I mean, I really love that color. That's so gorgeous. Because sometimes if I wear very natural makeup, I can feel that a lipstick would be too much. Um, and then I would go for maybe like tinted gloss or I will just like dab a little bit of lipstick. But I love that this is a lip balm pigmentation in one, so you get the hydration at the same time. Feels very comfortable, color stunning. I'm gonna do one more swipe just to see how it looks with a little more cover. I mean, crusty lips aside, I love this. I think this will be my new go-to everyday lip product. I like it. It's definitely more pigmented than you would think a tinted lip balm is. I think a more accurate name would be like sheer lipstick, to be honest. But as long as you know what you're getting, then this is wonderful. And I love that it has all these nourishing oils and butters, so that it really does good for the lips while you're wearing it. I do think the color block lipsticks from Elia are also nourishing, like they don't dry out my lips at the end of the day, but this is of course even more hydrating. Let's zoom out a little bit and continue. Okie dokie, let's move on to the RMS Living Glow Face and Body Powder. This powder, I have, ugh, I have just been like adding to basket <laughs> several times and then I just never bought it because it's quite pricey. Actually, I forgot how much it is. <laughs> oh my god, this is so crazy. I just googled to see how much this powder costs and apparently on RMS Beauty's official website, it's 70% off. So it used to be $40 and now it's $12. What the actual F? I paid more than that. Okay, well, that's good to know. I bought it in Sephora Denmark, so it was originally $40 and then 20% off. Okay, <laughs> ow, that hurts. <laughs> because I live in Denmark, sometimes it's also complicated because I would love to buy stuff from the original main site because usually there's like better deals there, but for American brands or for UK brands, I also have to pay like customs to get the product here. I don't know how much that is, I think it's like another 25% on the price so I always have to find like a retailer that sells in Europe so that's kind of tricky and I mean we have Sephora here but we definitely do not have all the brands that you have in the US so it's kind of a bummer um so yeah if I lived in the US I would have bought it from RMS and I would have paid $12 but now I paid a lot more well let's hope it's worth it at least I love the packaging already it's just like it's just satisfying it's big and it's bulky but glamorous mm. I actually haven't bought a product from RMS in the longest time because their Uncover Up Concealer Foundation breaks me out like crazy because of the coconut oil. Even their cream eyeshadows literally break me out on the eyelid. Like I will get zits on my eyelid from those products because coconut oil does not go well with my face. Actually, coconut oil does not go well with most people's faces. I do not know why they put coconut oil in everything. But this is a powder, so there should not be any coconut oil in here. Mm, okay. So we have this little puff, which I probably won't use. I just need to take this. Oof. Do you guys see the sparkle? 
Okay, all right. I just have to swatch a little bit on my hand. Wow, that glow, damn, that glow is stunning. Okay, I'm so excited. I hope it's not too dark for me. I mean, you can have it on your face and your body. There was just something about the glow of it that just looks so satisfying. I just want it like all over my body, basically. And I'm just gonna pour out some here in the lid that was probably way too much i mean you get a lot of product in here how much 11 grams of product which is i mean a lot for a highlighter because usually you don't use that much highlighter but i guess if you use it on the body it's gonna be more i'm just gonna start with the face i applied a little bit on this highlighting brush well i already have highlight on now but just a little bit oh wow okay i like i like mm, i just want to keep going that's stunning and it's definitely not too dark for me that glow i love that glow because it's not sparkly it's not metallic -y. i get the name living glow it is a living glow it's like lit from within glowing angel descending from heaven to bless everyone with her radiance that kind of vibe which is pretty much always what i'm going for Okay, I went in a little hard <laughs> on that side. I just, ah, it has such a beautiful glow. I just get it like a little carried away. But it really blends so nicely with the skin. I mean, you saw how I applied way too much in the beginning. And then it just melts in like butter. Eee! Okay, I'm so excited. Let me get a bigger brush. Nah, I'm gonna keep with this brush. Oh, seriously, I get so many Black Friday texts. Why do you guys think of Black Friday, by the way? I'm like conflicted. Like, it's nice that you can get the stuff that you've really been wanting to get. At discount but I just feel like it creates this stress and like pressure that you have to buy stuff because it's on sale now it's the biggest sale of the year it's never gonna be this much sale until next year and of course like it really promotes over consumerism so it's bad in many ways I really try to only get stuff that I really would want to get anyway or maybe there's something that I've been wanting to get but it's like kind of expensive and then I will get on Black Friday but honestly this year I'm so broke right now I don't know how it is in the country where you live but here in Denmark we get salary once a month on the last day of the month and Black Friday is on the 26th of November <laughs> so it's literally the last week before payday and when I got my November salary I was like I'm just gonna save some money so that I can spend that on Black Friday but that did not happen so I did get a few stuff but I wish I could have gotten more let's stop talking let me know in the comments what you think about Black Friday bad over consumerism or fun all right let's apply a little bit on the collarbones okay <laughs> maybe a little dark there when it first applies it's kind of like beige and like pigmented but it blends in so nicely so oops okay for the sake of the video let's just go to town with this it does blend really nicely so even though it is a few shades darker than me i don't think it shows like i really think it blends so nice i mean can you guys see the glow like i love that it's not a glitter because i'm not like i'm not so much for glitter not in a highlighter not on my body i love glitter in an eyeshadow i love glitter <laughs> but when it comes to highlighter or like on the body i want like goddess glow like a sheen i'm gonna play a lot this is just i mean it's gorgeous of course when you have more like open shoulders and you're out in the sun and the sun reflecting on this i mean that's gonna be gorgeous but also just for christmas like all these christmas parties or whatever you're going to it's just like the season of glowing and sparkling damn i love that someone needs to like literally stop me because i could just paint my body in this okay i'm gonna do a little more here in the front glowing with the gods wow that's so stunning i'm gonna apply a little bit on my eye just for funsies let's take this blending brush from nure i already have a lot of sparkle on my eye but you really have too much that's stunning so the price is a little hefty but considering how versatile it is and how freaking gorgeous it is i think it's totally worth it also you get so much product which i'm happy about because i want to literally apply this all over oh my god that looks so good on the eyes now i already have like a very sparkly shadow underneath but then putting this on top just the only thing is now i have a lot of product in here that i didn't use and i have to kind of try to get that back into the 
container. I do wish that the container, like you see, is just like straight into like these holes. I wish it had some kind of cover there, like this twisty thing that you can close it because if you would bring this with you and it would like turn upside down in your makeup bag or whatever, you might get powder everywhere. We'll just have to keep that upright. Oh, it's so stunning. I mean, look at that. Anyone else get this excited about like glow and sparkle and glitter? I mean, wow, I just wanna... That is the perfect highlight ever. Wow, 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 wow. All right, moving on before I pee my pants of excitement. Um, the Seven Virtues Perfume. I first heard about this brand on Tothi Westbrook's channel. She made a video recently where she recommended this perfume, this specific scent, the Santal Vanille. From her explanation, I was like, okay, I need that. It is very hard to find a good non-toxic perfume. Perfume is one of the most toxic cosmetic products there is. Like, if you're not like a full clean beauty kind of gal, but you're just kind of dipping your toes and you know, you're exploring more clean products, but you're not like full in, then if there's one single product that you really should switch to clean, it's perfume. The shit that goes into perfume, oh, there's the most toxic ingredients in there. And a lot of the fragrance and stuff, they don't even have to like, the brands don't, because it's usually like, the formula is like secret. They don't have to say exactly what they put in the fragrance. They will just say fragrance. So it's kind of a sneaky, lurky business. And a lot of these conventional perfumes, I'm not just saying like cheap perfumes. I'm also saying like expensive, like Dior, Chanel, and all of these high-end luxury brand perfumes have a lot of toxic shit in them. A lot of hormone disruptive ingredients. You do not want that on your body and you definitely do not want to spray it and inhale it. Like if you spray that on your body, you will inevitably inhale it. So that's my one <laughs> advice. Switch to a clean perfume. But it is hard to find a really good clean perfume. I will say that. Some of them smell a little too natural, <laughs> in my opinion. Because you still want that luxurious, luxurious smell in a perfume. You don't want, yeah, you don't want to smell like a health food store. And that can be really tricky to find. So I'm curious about this one. I got a little passionate there. <laughs> and what I love about this one is that it's also a roller bowl. Um, they have also big size that are spray-on perfumes. If you prefer that. Like I said, you will inhale it, but these are at least natural essential oils and it has no toxic ingredients in here. Even if you spray it, it's not going to be bad things that you inhale. But of course, people can still be sensitive even to essential oils and to, to natural ingredients. If that's you, then I really recommend a roller ball perfume or like a solid perfume that you don't actually spray, that you just apply. Usually I don't mind a natural perfume in a spray bottle, but because I'm pregnant, I want to kind of avoid inhaling it. It's still going on my skin, it's going to get into my bloodstream, uh, but I feel safe since this is natural. All right, let's stop yapping. So what does it say about it? Best, oh, I love that. So it's a little bit of like an aromatherapy experience and they say what it's good for. So this is good for focusing the mind, releasing tension, feeling at peace. This perfume provides farmers and their families with fair wages. I love that. It's an ethical brand, sustainably sourced sandalwood essential oil from Sri Lanka. Mm, love, love, love. Okay, maybe I should smell it before I say love, love, love. All right, here goes nothing. Mmm, mmm, okay. Oh my god, that's that smells luxury. That smells it definitely does not smell like a health food store. It smells it smells so luxurious. Vanilla for sure. I hint a bit of coconut, but also cardamom. Is that in here? I have to see. Because it didn't say that it had cardamom, but organic alcohol, water, coumarine, lemonin. Things are just like the other ingredients, not like the actual scent. So it's vanilla. I don't know, but I smell cardamom as well, which I love. Mm, it smells so freaking luxurious. Okay, let's apply it because perfumes always smell different on different people. So I'm gonna apply on my wrists. And also when you apply perfume, you should not rub your wrists against each other because that kind of ruins the scent. And I love to apply in the neck because then when you walk, then you have the scent kind of flowing behind you. All right, let's let that sit for a little while. I definitely smell more cardamom when I put it on. There's, oh, it's so good. It's definitely like a sweet, mysterious kind of fragrance, but not too heavy. It also has this like, 
like something fresh about it because I cannot take scents that are too heavy. I need something fresh. I mean, it's hard to review a perfume on YouTube. I wish I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, it's amazing. It's warm. That's such a good way to describe it. It's a warm scent. It's feminine. You know what I think about when I smell this? You know these gorgeous, sexy women in the Dolce & Gabbana ads that have like these black tight dresses, like the most gorgeous curves and just like jewelry and red lipstick and they're just like stunning. Those women, like how I would imagine them smelling. That's what this smells like. <laughs> like a sexy Italian mama. Mm, I love it. Okay, I am sold. I literally love every single thing that I got, which I guess is not that weird since I specifically purchased these things because I thought they would be good. <laughs> But damn, mm, mm, mm. I can't stop smelling myself. I mean, that's lovely. And I love that it comes in this small size as well. They have this one, which is 11 milliliters. That's $30. And then they have another, which is comes in a bottle, a 50 milliliter bottle. And that one is $85. So it's not the most high-end perfume and it's definitely not cheap either. But I do love that you have a more affordable option if you get a smaller one. And I like to, use different perfumes you know I don't want to have the same perfume when I'm at a party as I do on just like a casual weekday like have you ever had when you're out partying and you get wasted you wear a perfume and then the next day when you're hungover the smell of that damn perfume ugh, no you need separate perfumes for daytime nighttime or special occasions or just your mood to be honest some days you want more fresh some days you want more mysterious I definitely Definitely need to try more scents from the seven virtues that is mm, lovely now I feel like it's settled in even more something more floral is kind of coming through and it's just getting like a little bit more mild but it's not losing its intensity it's just I love it that was all the products that I got I do want to show you this mist from Elia as well the blue light filter protect and set mist I did already set my makeup what I love about this one I didn't get it because I needed a setting spray like that's not the reason why I got it I got it for this blue light protection filter I work by the computer all day most of the days I'm not wearing makeup because the Elia super serum skin tint this one has also blue light protection but I don't use that every day and I wanted something that I can apply for that protection even when I'm not wearing any foundation. So this mist does the job. Even if I'm completely barefaced, I will just spray this on in the morning before I sit down at my laptop. I really like it. I'm gonna apply a little bit now, just so you guys can see the mist is gorgeous and super fine. It doesn't have a scent, which I love because again, you're spraying it on your face. I don't think it's super hydrating. It's not drying, but I feel like it kind of closes the pores a little bit, which I definitely <laughs> do not mind. So it does look really good and it makes the skin look a little bit better even when you're not wearing makeup. I love that it protects against the blue light. Now I didn't spray too much. I'm gonna spray a little bit more so you can see. Yeah, okay, so here you can see like the cap, it leaks here and it gets super bubbly. It wasn't too bad this time. I don't think I shook it properly because you have to shake it before you apply it. It's just that it gets all foamy around the cap when you spray it. Then you have to kind of go find a napkin or something to wipe it off. It's just a little inconvenient. That's my only negative mark about this one. Otherwise, love it. All right, I feel glowy and stunning and, mm, and I smell good. There's something so powerful about a perfume. When you have a good perfume like I said this perfume gets my thought straight to these sexy Italian Dolce Gabbana models and it's almost like you embody that woman when you're wearing this so perfume can be really powerful it's not just about like vanity or smelling good for other people or whatever it really I mean scent is such a powerful sense that it can really bring out memories it can bring out nostalgia it can bring out all kinds of feelings and it can really like help you embody the person that you want to be love love all right that was all for this video i really hope that you enjoyed it please let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these products or if you have any other clean and sephora favorite that you think i should try i would love your recommendations i'm always open for trying new stuff if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you can stay notified when i upload a new video that was all for today's video i will see you in the next one and until then as always, stay glowing.